Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon again, folks. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. We're once again going to that horrible, well, we're going back to the memorial list for the Disability Day of Mourning. But before we do the usual disclaimers, In the description box, you're going to find a link to the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It's written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics, wherein they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. Matter of fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read that article so much, they have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit they did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused, of course, so you know the drill, folks. Please read that article and share it on all your social media. You're also going to see linked in there Neuroclastic's public statement regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding, folks, in case the JRC has the balls to see through with their threat. We got the link to the Ozarks' first article in regards to Agape Boarding School, also known as Stone for Help Boarding School. This is a so-called Christian-themed boarding school based out of Stockton, Missouri, that takes in so-called trouble male teens that has impending over 21 civil lawsuits, claims, and allegations leveled against it, all which have been substantiated by the hard evidence gathered by the Missouri Department of Social Services and includes the following. Rape, sodomy, sexual assault, child abuse, psychological and emotional abuse, child trafficking, starvation, and that's just for starters. You have one former staff member arrested by the FBI, another a doctor who's still on the premises up again on multiple, again, substantiated claims of sodomy, sexual assault, and rape of the boys there. You have an attorney general who is too busy prosecuting drag queens for who even knows why, you know, probably existing while liking to look good in a pretty dress, I guess. And you've got a governor who's off his nut. So please share that article on all your social media. You got the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shots campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, Jennifer Masumba's behavioral sheet of shockable offenses, a clip out of the seven hour ordeal undergone by Andre McCones back in 2002, the templates in the ever present self explanatory change.org, shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. Trigger warning, folks. When we go through these memorials, you're going to hear some very explicit details about violent acts and murder carried out against people with disabilities. If your child is 16 and younger, if you're not at least parentally supervising them, I, I, don't, I don't know what you're doing. All right. So we are going to where we left off. This is an unnamed five-year-old boy, Hat Yai. Sungla, Province, Thailand, died November the 8th, 2022. Cause of death, suffocation, disability, autism. This five-year-old boy was found dead in his apartment. Police believe that his mother, who had been hospitalized after a suicide attempt, smothered him with a pillow. Uh, Sudarat conquered mother, hospitalized and under investigation. Ellis Matheny, Eaton, Ohio, USA, aged 93, November the 15th, 2022. Cause of death, drowning. She was a disabled elder. Alice's granddaughter, who found out that Alice needed a nursing home and her insurance wouldn't cover it, allegedly drowned her grandmother in the kitchen sink. Heidi Matherney, granddaughter, pleaded guilty to murder. Jesus. Vincent Roebuck. Mount Washington, Pennsylvania, USA, aged 72, November the 16th, 2022. Cause of death, stabbing, disability wheelchair user. Vincent's son allegedly broke into his house and stabbed him to death. Vincent's other son was also stabbed but survived. Javon Taylor's son, charged with criminal homicide, aggravated assault, reckless endangerment, and burglary. Patricia Johnson, Springfield Gardens, Queens, New York City, New York, USA, aged 26, November the 18th, 2022. 
cause of death stabbed. Disability cerebral palsy. When Patrice's aide arrived at her house, they found her dead along with her aunt and stepmother. Patrice's nephew was arrested on suspicion of having stabbed all three women to death after an argument. Police say that Patrice's stepmother, 65-year-old Hyacinth Brown Johnson, died trying to protect her. Also killed was Latoya Jordan, 47, Hyacinth's daughter. Case status, Jabari Burrow, nephew, charged with three counts of first-degree and second-degree murder, grand larceny, and criminal possession of a weapon. Milagros Martin, Buenos Aires, Argentina, aged 5, November the 28th, 2022. Cause of death, respiratory infection, disability, prematurity, developmental display, bronchopulmonary dysplasia. Milagro's body was found encased in concrete in a box her mother had been using as a nightstand. Her mother was arrested. An autopsy determined that Milagros had died from a respiratory infection, and police suspect that it was lack of proper care that caused her death. Vanessa Mincella, mother, charged with negligent homicide. Shiv Mama, Bengaluru, Karnataka, India, aged 50, December the 4th, 2022. Cause of death, drowning, disability stroke paralysis. Shiv Mama was drowned in the flood ba- flooded basement under the construction apartment building she lived in with her husband and two children. Police arrested her husband on suspicion of killing her because he had been caring for her since her stroke and had grown tired of it. Shankarapa husband charged with murder. 67-year-old woman. Point de Valcas, Madrid, Spain. Aged 67. December the 4th, 2022. Cause of death, dehydration. Disability, multiple sclerosis, COPD, Alzheimer's. When she fell and could not get up, this woman's husband allegedly left her on the floor without caring for her or calling for help for five days. When she died, he called emergency services who found her in filthy conditions. Her husband had been reported for domestic abuse twice before. Her husband arrested, charged with murder, and sexist hate crime domestic violence. Edwin Collison, Hitchcock, Texas, USA, aged 45, December the 4th, 2022. Cause of death, undetermined, disability, intellectual disability. Edwin was admitted to the hospital in critical condition, covered in scars and bed sores and with multiple injuries, as well as evidence of been tied up. He weighed 70 pounds and died six days later. His parents claimed that they had been trying to cure his disability with holistic treatment that police say amounted to torture. This is why I come against pseudoscience, folks. It's not just because my mom works in the health field. Because I have watched my fellows die every year because of snake oil snellsman and this bullshit. Okay? Do not come at me with your holistic bullshit. Don't you even dare. There may be a lot of problems with the medical model, but there are certain things that we need for our health. You don't get to take that away and throw herbs at us while we sit there and suffer. When there is treatment ready and available that you are able to get your hands on. Billie Jean Barnes, mother charged with injury to a disabled person. Timothy Ray Ellis, stepfather, charged with injury to a disabled person. Josiah Green, Brooklyn, New York, USA, 18 years old, December the 4th, 2022. Cause of death, birds, cerebral palsy. When Josiah's father called for an ambulance, medics found the teenager dead with severe burns over 90% of his body. 90% of his body. 
is a father allegedly told the authorities that Josiah had accidentally fallen into a bathtub full of scalding water two days before, and he had treated the boy with over-the-counter remedies instead of taking him to the hospital. Police say that the extent of the teen's burns is not consistent with brief exposure to hot tap water that his father reported. Josiah's death has been ruled a homicide. Police are still investigating the possibility that Josiah was actually burned after which medical care was delayed for two days. Yu Hao Ching, aged 47, died December the 11th, 2022. Location, Wang Tai Sin, Hong Kong, China. Disability, chronic illness, bedridden. Yu's parents allegedly bludgeoned her to death with a hammer. Police say that the motive for the killing was the unbearable pressure of taking care of her. Yun Yit Mei, mother charged with murder. Yu Ping, father charged with murder. Four-year-old girl, Jim Jong Ju, Basan, South Korea, aged four, December the 14th, 2022. Cause of death, beating. Disability, blind. This four-year-old girl was taken to the hospital dead on arrival. A doctor called the police who suspected the girl's mother of severely beating her when she woke her mother up asking for food. Her mother charged with murder. Six-year-old girl, Bao, Sarak, Malaysia, aged six, December the 17th, 2022. Cause of death, beaten. Disability, unspecified. Details. The six-year-old was allegedly beaten to death by her mother's boyfriend. Her body was found a few weeks later, stuffed into a sack and hidden in some bushes. Her mother arrested on suspicion of murder, now helping the prosecution. Then Yu Yern, mother's boyfriend, charged with murder. 14-year-old girl, Bengaluru, Karnataka, India, aged 14, December the 20th, 2022. Cause of death, asphyxia. Disability, unspecified. This teenage girl's body was found in her home with her mother. The girl had been strangled. Police say her mother killed her and then attempted suicide. Her mother suspected of murder hospitalized. 14-year-old girl. No, I just went over that. Aria Smith, Miami Beach, Florida, USA, aged 3. December the 27th, 2022. Cause of death, stabbed. Disability, autism. Arya's mother called 911 and reportedly confessed to killing Arya when she couldn't strangle the girl she stabbed her to death instead. Family said she was stressed due to Arya's possible autism and a recent eviction notice. It's not an excuse! If you can't take care of us, fine. Get people involved who will. We deserve to live. That little girl deserved to live. Delisa Baxter, mother, charged with aggravated child abuse and first-degree murder. Do not sit there and tell us how much you love us when you fucking stab us. Done. I'm not sorry for my outbursts, people. You never see us on the news. You never hear anybody declaring hate crimes when people like us are being murdered in our homes. So I'm doing it here. This is a small channel and we have a very small audience. But I do hope that if anything else, this website can go out to make people aware of what's going on. We are going to do the deaths that started at the beginning of this year, just to make sure that we do get it covered. But as for right now for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and close out. We don't get very many views on this channel. 
the few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit those comments. I do appreciate your time. And as always, we here at Spilling Tea do hope you have a good one. Bye-bye, everyone.